The much anticipated bill is meant to streamline transportation of crude oil between Uganda and Tanzania. This is a part of the agreement signed between Tanzania and Uganda ahead of Uganda's oil extraction. MPs debated clauses 26 to 46 of the bill before the bill was passed. Um, I want to record that the definition of, uh, uh, of legal and, uh, and uh, beneficial ownership uh, is not a matter over which we have come to an association. Yesterday we had not considered the interpretation of the word, of the word payment in panic, which has been introduced today and it is it, uh, ably defined. Those in your favor say I am the conqueror, no? No! You know something. No. The bill is given supremacy over other laws regarding oil extraction, a matter that raised eyebrows among a section members of parliament. These are also concerned over what the bill described as payment in kind regarding transportation of crude oil to the final destination. These international oil magnets that are funding the, uh, the pipeline have been uh, insisting on doing certain things their way. And the only way we would secure the country is by putting in some global clauses on some of the powers that we are giving to them. We were not successful on some of them. Whatever we've passed in this bill is to do with the oil pipeline. Nothing beyond. So the supremacy, the investors want certainty. They want to be sure that the moment you pass this, okay, no one will come and bring another one and change. Uh, for me, it's a bit disappointing that uh, we've left some up clauses that are very particular on the powers of the players open-ended. Once passed into law, the members, especially from the government, could not hold back their excitement. We've analogued the country's potential. This was the hindering block in terms of, uh, in, in terms of making the final decision in as far as the food oil pipeline is concerned. And of course we couldn't do anything with the oil sector unless we first saw how to should of the food oil pipeline. We've been able to pass it without friction. That to me means that we appreciated the fact that the bill is very limited to implementation of the already agreed uh, or signed agreements. And the agreements are beyond Uganda only. The agreements are between the shareholders, like the production sharing agreement, the shareholders agreement, the host government agreement, the tariff transportation agreement. All those involve other shareholders beyond Uganda law. The government chief whip Thomas Tayewa is optimistic that the bill will promote domestic investment in the oil sector. Clause 37 of the bill gives both NEMA and Uganda Petroleum Authority a mandate to harmonize the decommissioning report once oil extraction is done with the Petroleum Authority given a mandate to formalize it. Ramson Mhirwe, CTVP Medition.